Hey y'all, welcome back to my house to home series. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how we decide to change our powder room. This is actually the final walkthrough because I've completely forgot to get before footage just before we started to change the bathroom. But this is what it looks like before and now we are in the present day. And I got to shout out my husband. Shout out to you, babe, for being so awesome, being my personal handyman, doing everything around the house. But we decided to change the color of the bathroom and we went with Repost Gray by Sherwin Williams. I showed you all this color that was in my dining room as well and I absolutely love it. It's very neutral and it goes with everything so this is one of my favorite pink colors so we just decided to put our own little taste onto this powder room my day off and then here painting with the boss shut up next time we'll be dancing for y'all <laughs> hey so i know i'm looking extra raggedy what are you doing what are you doing so i just want to show y'all the pictures that i purchased from kirkland's today they are so cute and it looks like this and of course it's for the bathroom and i brought a second one to go with this one that looks like this see and i'll put both of these up in the bathroom i also grabbed a shelf I, i'll show you that in a minute i think it's out in the garage but i purchased a shelf to go with these two in the bathroom I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna hang them up, but I just like both of these pictures. So I wrote two of them and they are two different. Yeah, they are two different photos. You see this one has a window in it and this one has like something else hanging in the middle of it. And I also grabbed this picture from Hobby Lobby and it looks like this. And it says, everyone wants to change the world, but nobody wants to change the toilet paper roll. Be the change. So cute. It's so cute and funny. So I'm hanging this up in the bathroom too. I don't want too many pictures in the bathroom. Mama, I don't want too many pictures in the bathroom, but I thought this would be nice in between those two and the shelf that I'm going to put up. So let me just show y'all real quick. We changed the lights here in the dining room, but they are super bright. I don't know if I'm going to keep them, but that's how bright these lights are. So these are daylight bulbs, but it's like, it's not adding no warmth to the house. What you think? Let me know in the comment section below, but it do match up there with the ceiling fan that's not on. The light up there, which is an LED light, goes with these lights down here. But these lights in the kitchen are more warm tone. So trying to figure out if I want a bright ass house or just like dim it down some. I might dim it down, that's a little too bright over there. So I'm gonna have to change those recessed lights. But anyway, let me show y'all the shelf that I was starting to show y'all before I was really interrupted by these lights. So here is the shower that I purchased from Hobby Lobby as well. I don't even know if you can see it. And it already come put together and it folds just like this. I'm hoping that it fit the space that I'm gonna put it at. I didn't do measurements, I just grabbed it, kinda eyeballed it and was like, oh, this won't go there. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put this up in the bathroom, maybe put like some candles on here, a small little faux plant, something like that just to add some color to the bathroom because it's kinda plain. Give me that rustic feel along with the pictures. I think it'll be real cute. So I'll show you all that once we put everything up. So he's not sitting on the toilet. He's t sitting on the oh, toilet, but he's not using <laughs> but we're just gonna hang these pictures up the two that i got from kirk really the two that i got from kirkness with some command strips all right let's put these up No, it don't matter. Right here? Um, hold up, I gotta step back some. Come down just a little bit. Yeah, right there. Even? It look even from here. Does it even? Yeah. Huh? Do it look even, y'all? I think it look even. See, that's the good thing about putting one on, you can adjust it a little bit. I don't wanna press it and it's not even. Yeah, it's even. I can yeah. see it. Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm good. First go. <laughs> yeah, that look good. You didn't want you on? Huh? You didn't want you on? No, one on should be fine. It's not like people take showers in here, so. And I took them damn showers in here. <laughs> All right, you just gotta change this to black. Yeah, I'm gonna change this right here to black so it can match that rustic look over there. Yeah, but that's how it looks so far. I'm, what about the other picture? Yeah, All right, um, let me see. Where can we put that? I'm trying to see. I didn't put these on the side only because when you come in the bathroom, you can't see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll look nice. But you got to use a nail for that one. I know. You want it? Yeah. So he's using one of the smaller nails right like here? this. Um, right here? Let me see. No. E yeah, is that centered in the wall? Sorry, y'all, my OCD. Right yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So it's not really in the way. You got it? We always doing stuff when it's late at night. It's so pretty. I like how they look together. I just can't wait to change this up to black. You this off or keep it on? Um, that's fine. You can keep it on. That's not bothering nobody. Should the nail go in a little bit more? What more do you want from me? <laughs> just ask. Yeah, that's cool. That look good. So it looked like it's not hanging on the nail. You know what I mean? 
know what I mean? It's kind of oh, like. Fall. Oh. Look crooked. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Y'all talk about me. It's straight. That's it, right? That's it. Okay, so I just got in from Home Goods and I grabbed this cute little thing to go on top of the shelf. So this is the next day, of course, and this is what it looks like. So this is full plants and it has some candles up there, runs off of batteries. I'll show you what it looked like in a minute. I mean, I thought this was so cute because it goes exactly with the wood of the shelf and it matches it to a T. So I thought it was real cute. It looked really nice and rustic and it had a little bit of greenery in here. I didn't want to put a real plant because, of course, I don't have a green thumb and the plant probably would not survive. But let me show you what it looks like once I turn it on. So the switch is right under here and you just turn it on like this. I already put the batteries in it but look at how cute that is. It's not like a super bright light but it's really cute and I'm gonna cut the light off real quick. See so it looks like that. It's not too bright it's just nice. Let me put some candles right here maybe two candles right there at the bottom. That's about it because I don't want to overcrowd the shelf. It's a small shelf. It's not supposed to be a whole bunch of stuff on it. So I wasn't able to find a matte black towel rack to fit this exact size. Um, oh you know what? Just got an idea. I think I'm gonna try to spray paint it. My husband gonna have a fit, but I'm gonna try to spray paint it. I don't think I showed y'all what the garage looks like. I have some footage from before. I'm gonna insert that right here. So here's a clip of the garage before we moved in. It is a two car garage. Now this table that you all see sitting right here, I actually request the previous owner to remove all of his property along with those shelves. And because of everything that was going on with the pandemic and everything, our closing day was actually the same day as our final walkthrough. And lo and behold, once I got the keys, came home the table was still sitting there so I was very pissed off about that so um, I just want to again thank my husband for taking the time out to break it down although he almost broke his neck oh, shit. Jesus Christ <laughs> me record you ain't got nothing to do with your clumsy ass falling Jesus Lord have mercy it's a lot of stuff in here right now I'm gonna show y'all everything later once we put everything where it's supposed to be right now I'm gonna focus on spray painting I'm hoping that it turned out right I'm gonna crack the garage just to let some air in I'm whispering because the kids and my husband is still asleep so I hope you all can hear me sorry for the bad lighting in here it is like a yellow some type of yellow light but I'm gonna go grab something that I could put down on the ground real quick so I don't get spray paint all over the ground all right so I'm back they woke so I could talk regular now but I got my mask got my gloves and I grabbed this box right here and I'm, I'm thinking I can like put this because it's hard you know like put the pole part like that and spray paint it I don't know if I can get all of it I can get most of it all right so we're gonna try it this way pieces too and hopefully it turn out right I don't have to go and buy another tower <laughs> So I don't really want to move the box because I have the pole in a perfect position. <laughs> so if I need to spray paint it some more, I can, but I'm gonna let it dry like this and maybe put another coat on the other side. And those are the other two pieces to the rack for me to hang it on the wall. So I'm gonna let it dry for a little while and then I'm gonna come back and add another coat. So that's that for right now. I know I inserted the clip of what the garage looked like beforehand because we got so much stuff in here right now. My husband is creating a gem in the garage on this side. <laughs> You don't know, with quarantine and everything going on, we could not find any gym equipment nowhere in Maryland. So they just opened Dick's and we tried to come in here to get some stuff to create a gym and it's like nothing. They cleaned them out completely. <laughs> And the gym equipment that we did find, everybody wanted to charge an arm, leg, and a thigh. So we decided to take a drive outside of Merlin to find some gym equipment because my husband wanted to start his own in-home gym. Now our plans is to put the gym inside the garage, not to take up both of the parking spaces for the cars, but where he can work out and don't have to worry about going to the gym or anything like that. So he tells me that he's going in the store just to look at some things so we could price them to see how much it's going to be for as the equipment that he want to buy for the gym. And he comes out with a whole heap of stuff. What you got? Uh, what did you purchase? Uh, two plates and uh, two dumbbells. I gotta <laughs> run over to, uh, to the warehouse to get the 
Yeah. He said, I'm going in here just to price right, some stuff house, to yo. see what I want to get to add to the in-home gym. He ain't say he was coming out with equipment. Uh, yeah, they, um, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Now they about to load the truck up with some of his equipment that I purchased for him. This is his Father's Day gift. <laughs> interested in seeing how my husband built his in-home gym inside the garage and make sure that you stay tuned as you all saw in that clip my husband is creating a gym in the garage on this side but we have a whole bunch of stuff on this side that needs to go down in the basement in my sunroom and stuff like that we got my little stuff we just got a whole bunch of stuff in here so i need to create some type of storage going on in here and we also will be painting so we didn't do anything as far as hanging stuff on the wall in here as of yet we need to do some painting in here and also the ceilings may need to be spackled again Again, you can see like where they put the studs and stuff at. So they may need to be speckled again before we paint if we decide to paint because you know we've been just we've been doing a whole bunch of stuff in this house and it's like <laughs> I just want to enjoy my home. That's all I want to do. I want to enjoy my home. So this garage may be something we'll do later on. I've ordered this dining room set back in May, and yet again they called to push the date back. Like I'm pissed. I understand COVID and everything got a lot of stuff delayed, but this is ridiculous. Like y'all didn't tell me this when y'all took my coins. So we are going to be returning these chairs because they did give us the chairs. They just got the base in, but the tabletop won't be ready till late September, early October. Like no Thanksgiving is going to be coming around and we're not going to have a table to sit down and eat on so we are returning the chairs today yesterday we found the dining room set that we really really love and guess what it's going to be delivered tomorrow so i'm excited for that and i'm going to show you all what that looks like once it comes in anyway let me go do something with this ponytail because it's all over the place i just i woke up like this i woke up like this so i'm going to put it in a bun and head out the door because i need to go and return these chairs so it's a few hours later and let me just show you all what the rail is looking like all right so don't judge me so the first time i spray painted it i was light-handed it came out nice and smooth it looked really good so then oh sorry sorry for the light so then i went back the second time to add another layer and it started to bubble up on me i thought it looked cute but my husband like threw it in the trash let me just show y'all what it looked like so here's the rail see this side is nice and smooth but then when you get down here it's just look it's a little rough it's a little textured you know and i tell them don't be, don't be discriminate against the textured pole i keep calling it a pole it's a rail what i mean top right i'm telling them like don't discriminate against the bump and he want me to throw it in the trash oh don't ignore this y'all because i slammed my thumb against the damn wheel in the car and it started bleeding so i had to wrap it up but yeah so look you know it's a little textured around there that's all it ain't bad but he want me to throw it in the trash and i can't find this rail this towel rack anyway and i really like it but this is what the bathroom is looking like oh, damn i just ran right into the sink but this is what the bathroom is looking like oh and i grabbed this little picture today from at home it says begin each day with a grateful heart and i thought it was really cute and again it goes with the shelf so you know we blending we blending we making it work we matching so yeah it looks really nice i think i'm gonna leave it alone from here i'm just gonna find some black trash bags because i keep using target bags and i need to find some black trash bags to put in this little trash can right here um oh and i am gonna change this light fixture up here because this was here when we moved in and i mean it's not bad but i wanted to go with the flow of everything over there so i'm going to change that i got this mirror from hobby lobby damn she is so cute y'all see my little snoop Duggy dog shirt dog pound but yeah so i'm going to change that and i got this mirror from hobby lobby it's really really cute i got my little soap dish right there and that's just some spray just in case somebody drop a load in here they got some spray all right so that's the update for the bathroom all right sorry if i look like a grease ball in this echo because i'm down in the basement but i just want to give you all a quick update of what the basement looked like so we went with this pretty gray color as you all can see it's 
kind of a darkish gray compared to the other grays that we have upstairs and we got our recess lights up i think i showed you those before so it looks really good we still don't have the carpet in yet because the bathroom is not done the bathroom is going to get started this monday so we're waiting for them to do the bathroom and then we'll have them come in with the carpet because we don't want to get all of the debris from them sanding and stuff like that onto the carpet but now this is oh sorry now this is my sunroom we put all the bathroom stuff in here this is just some of the trim what else is this this is quarter round to go up on the ceiling just in case we want to do that we're not sure yet and that's just all the stuff for the bathroom um i still haven't put the door knobs on yet but i'm going to do that soon i'm not sure which knobs i want to go with and the bathroom is nothing done in it yet like i said they're going to start that this monday my office is coming along pretty nice it looks really good but i don't want to put too much furniture in it because like i said they're going to be down here sanding and stuff and i don't want to get all of that stuff inside of my office but it looks pretty good this is the same day i did beat my face just a little bit y'all know i'm suffering with all of these like bump and blemishes on my face from wearing this wearing that mask and it's just like it's killing my vibe so then i feel the need to put on makeup to cover it up when i'm trying to be cute because i can't have all these scars on my face but anyway long story short the basement is coming along pretty good once he start the bathroom i think he said it's going to take him maybe two to three weeks because they also have to come in and rearrange the plumbing when you get rough ends in your house it's never the way it's supposed to be or the way that you want it to be so he's going to dig up the floor a little bit i think about a half inch and rearrange the piping so we can add the shower and all of that stuff inside of the bathroom so i'm excited about that so here's just an overview of what the basement looks like it is coming along pretty well ignore that chair i was about to take some little pictures but <laughs> So this is what it looks like. The electrician put an outlet here so we can put the TV up on the wall and hide the cords. And that's my office over there. Completely different from what you all saw in the last video. All right, so just to briefly tell you all what happened for us, the basement, um, we did run into a problem is that we had to switch contractors. The previous contractor that we had, we was pleased with the work in the beginning. Now, when it came to the point that, let's just call him Jake. Jake had to put up the drywall and stuff like that things just didn't look like it was supposed to look so look i'm no contractor i just like hgtv and certain stuff just didn't look the way it's supposed to look and when we brought it to jake attention jake was like oh no it's gonna be cool once we paint you ain't gonna see that so when they started to paint what you think happened we saw that and when it was brought up to jake jake was like well i don't really think it's that bad really really jake so at that point, we was like, no, we need to <laughs> switch contractors because if you thought that that was okay, then we got a problem. So yeah, so we, anyway, I don't even wanna go too far into that because the basement looks really good now and I'm pleased with the way it looks and it's not even completely finished. So yeah, again, sorry for the echo because I'm down here, it's no furniture, it's no nothing. It's nothing to capture the sound of my voice. So it's real echoishy. What? but um yeah so that was the story with the basement so it's been a long road because we had to find a different contractor to come in and then wait for that contractor to be available to fix all of the issues that jake did some of it you really couldn't fix because you would have to tear certain areas down you all wouldn't notice it it's just we know we was here during the process so we saw certain things that we know just wasn't up to par but anyway like i said i really like how the basement is turning out so um once they finish the basement this will probably be like the last construction or renovation video i'll do or update until everything is completely finished and then i'll start showing you all all of the furniture and stuff that we have for the basement we do have to go and shop for the television and more decor for the basement but other than that everything else is just like ready so on another note my office now <laughs> she's pretty she's really pretty just a sneak peek the walls is white it's a white it's white wall my beauty room slash office room is definitely gonna take me some time i was planning on showing y'all giving y'all a tour of what the beauty room looked like it is definitely so cute and it's so me it's not all together yet i do have a few furniture pieces in here i know a lot of you all keep asking me about my natural hair tutorials and y'all i just had to get a space to actually create those videos trust me i miss doing the hair so you see my hair it's dry as a sheep's ass right now i definitely need to <laughs> give it some tlc because i just keep throwing it all up in these buns and 
ponytails but trust me the videos is coming i'm probably going to start next week i don't want to show you all too much because it's not ready yet if you all are following me on instagram then you all have seen a couple of snaps that i did in here like i said it's not ready yet it's not completely ready yet but it's, it's coming along and i'll probably start doing the house updates maybe once every other week plus i opened a new p.o box all the information will be down below in my description box just in case you all want to send me anything or just say what's up to me whatever the case may be all of the information will always be in the bottom of all of my videos so make sure that you check the description box below all right so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here and i will see you all in the next update on the next episode of house to home we can go live for you all while he is about to put up the dining room set i'm on my way to our kid what you mean now you my husband you always been my husband. Why? Because you installed the bookcase for me? Yeah, I installed the bookcase. You're my husband installing the bookcase. Shut 